Hi, my name is Alex with Data Tech, Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to cover features 6 through 10. If you haven't already, please make sure you watch last week's video where I covered the first five features. That video got a little long. So today we're going to wrap this up and I'm going to give you the last five features. Now these 10 features are worth it for you. Make sure you watch both videos, make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like, and if you have any questions or if you have any other features that I didn't cover, let me know in the comment section below. Feature number six, when you're transitioning an issue from one status to another, you can actually make a pop-up show up with additional fields that are maybe required for the user to fill out before they transition. So let me show you how to do that in Jira. So we can go into the settings and you're going to go to your screens and you're going to create a new screen for transition to in progress this can be whatever you want it to be and in this screen i'm going to go look for it you maybe you want to require the technical team at that point maybe you want to do maybe you want them to put in a due date at that point right maybe whatever you want to do you can select which fields are actually included in that pop-up. So once you have this screen configured, you actually then need to go into the workflow for your project. And so I'm just gonna go and edit that workflow real quick. You do need to be a Jira admin. You need to have full site admin permission. And so when I'm transitioning to in progress, I'm gonna click on this transition here and I'm gonna click edit. And you'll notice that there's a screen section here. And so I'm just gonna go and look for my, for my screen that I just made, click on save, and publish. If you don't hit publish, none of your efforts are ever uh, saved. So you want to make sure you hit publish on that. It'll take a second. And now when I go back into my project and I transition an issue, uh, let me just create something. Uh, actually, let me go back to my other board that actually did have something. When I create uh, transition something to in progress, you will see this pop up that now wants me to show the due date. So now I can say, yeah, I'm going to get this done by Friday. So that is a cool little feature if you want. You can make these fields required as well so that if an individual forgets to fill it out or you can essentially force that behavior. So that is feature number six. All right, feature number seven is actually gonna be a pretty interesting one. If you're using releases in Jira, you will be able to essentially assign a bunch of issues their appropriate fix version. When you do that and you're ready to actually release your issues, whether you're using some sort of CI CD tool or you're just doing it manually, you can actually go to a release and then you can release it. Okay. But that's not the feature I want to show you. The feature I want to show you is that when you are actually working then on these releases and you you want to basically present everything that went into that release, you do have an option to get a release notes here. Now it is a very limited and there are some additional plugins. So check out one of my future uh, Friday tools videos because I am going to be covering a, a plugin for generating release notes. But out of the box, you do essentially get this summary of all the different issues that went into this release. And so this is whatever issue was flagged with that fixed version equals this one here. It'll actually show up here. So make sure if you want to communicate very easily or you want a summary of what what are, what all went into this release that we're about to ship to our customers you can come in here and jira will give you you can copy it put it in your in a word document you can put it wherever you want to do and then just send it out to your customers so that is feature number seven all right feature number eight is for projects boards filters dashboards and even issues if you want to quickly just see stuff that is important to you you can actually add a little star and when you do this little star, it will basically prioritize these views so that you see them front and center. So if you want to see very specific filters, it works really well with the projects. It works really, really well with your filters. It works with your dashboards as well. If you put these little stars, it will like front and center, bring it up to the top. This is great. If you have a lot of filters, maybe you have a, access to a lot of dashboards, a lot of projects, you can bring them up front and center. Now you can do the same thing with your boards. If you come over here to boards, you can add little stars to your board so that you can very quickly jump back in and see those boards. All right, and these last two features, I do want to preface with, these are for premium subscribers of Jira only. So if you're not on the premium version or enterprise, you are not going to be able to do these next two features. Now, if you like them enough, I'm not a salesperson, I'm not paid by Atlassian, 
But these two features here that I'm about to show you might make it worth you doubling your price. But so check these features out. So we all know that every board in Jira gets a basic roadmap where you can set start and end dates. So if you're doing this and you actually have uh, some dates here that you set and configure, you can do this out of the box for free just by being a standard user. Now, what's cool is when I go and look at this FJC-50 launch a website in an advanced roadmap, which again is only a premium feature, but when I go look at it over there, you're going to notice a couple of cool things here. So when I'm, I'm just gonna quickly refresh my browser here, here I am in an existing plan, and you'll notice that my dates for 38 days are automatically in my plan. Now, all I did was if I make the changes here in the basic, those changes after a refresh get reflected in the advanced roadmap. Now, this is interesting and cool because you can essentially plan out, it's bi-directional. So I've, I am planning out stories, epics, tasks, buzz, whatever you want. And I'm doing like a more macro level session with the greater team. I can do that in the advanced roadmap. And then obviously I can push that stuff down to the teams. But now if the teams want to kind of work collaboratively and maybe they have some autonomy, you want to schedule a meeting after they've set their dates, the teams can effectively go into their basic roadmap, do the changes there in their little world that they own, and then the Scrum Master, Project Owner, Program Manager, those type of folks that are more high level, they can automatically see those changes be reflected in their plan without the need of additional synchronization meetings. So that bi-directional update between the advanced roadmap and the roadmap is feature number nine. And for the final feature, one of these cool things that I really want to show you is under fields in the advanced roadmap, if you type in progress, you will get an issue count progress. If you add that in, you will then get another column here that essentially rolls up the progress of all the children below it. So whenever any of the children get updated, so let me, I'm just going to update these two subtasks here. When those children get updated to, let's just say one's in progress, and let's just say, whoops, see, here's that one other feature that we added in earlier. Let's just say one goes to in progress and one is done. When I come back into my advanced roadmap, and again, another quick refresh, you'll notice that this story has been updated. So the these two subtasks now have updated this story. But because the story didn't get updated, again, you can pay, maybe go look at some automation rules to make this more automated. But for now, manually, I'm going to put this one in review. None of this has to make sense other than I just want to show you that as the children get updated, the parent, whether it's the story or the epic, or even if you have issues above the epic, those will automatically be showing you the overall progress for free without any additional like overhead just by your team actually just updating their statuses. So there you have it. Those are 10 features in Jira that you may not be using that are definitely worth it. I use these features a lot and they significantly help increase the collaboration and effectivity of my team. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, drop a like if you found value in this video. And if you have any questions or if you wanna add features that I didn't cover, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.